there is a strange law of psychology that reveals that small children who are treated badly by their parents will always, rather oddly, blame themselves and not their parents for their injuries. They hate who they are rather than hating those who've done them wrong. Small children immediately notice when they're not loved as much as they might and need to be. They understand nothing of the reasons for this hard-heartedness, but they feel all of the pain. And yet they need to locate some kind of explanation nevertheless, and so they quickly and intuitively settle on one that almost always feels most compelling to them, that they have done something wrong. Why is mummy so agitated? Because they've done something wrong. Why is daddy so cold? Because they've done something wrong. Why aren't they being treated kindly? Because they've done something wrong. Why is their little sister being preferred to them? Because they've done something wrong. After a little while of this, their whole character becomes oriented towards guilt. They are, in numberless ways, simply and primordially bad. In adult life, it then takes very little to reignite a feeling that somewhere along the line they have said and done something awful. What precise offence they believe themselves to have committed shifts according to events in their lives and the prevailing public mood. In a religious age, they may feel they've done something wrong in the eyes of God. In an age obsessed with paedophilia, they will feel they've done harm to a child. When racism is being highlighted as a leading public sin, they might be tortured that they harbour racist feelings. Closer to home, they will fear that they've upset their partner, hurt their friends, or offended an employee. Whenever they make a new friend, they know that soon enough the friend will realise that they are bad and let them go. What makes the guilt so hard to shake off is that they can't exactly pinpoint its origin. A diffuse mood hangs over them whose title is simply I have done something wrong. The mood is particularly prone to descend when they are lonely. Guilt thrives on isolation, just as it's love that may disperse it. When this sort of mood reaches a pitch, the sufferer may fantasise about going to a police station and handing themselves in. There could be such relief in finally being able to tell the officials, I'm awful, I'm guilty. One could be put in handcuffs and led to the cells and there, finally, gain some relief from the awful tension. Needless to say, there will be no such benefit in reality. The only way to cure this kind of guilt is to unpick its origins. That is, to realise that we are, of course, not bad at all. Rather, that we have been bullied without justice into thinking we might be so. We need, at last, to exchange self-flagellation for a little bit of righteous anger against those who have done us wrong.